Thomas. We're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a Founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. To support our veterans and their families, think of what they sacrificed for everybody. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. Hey, y'all. Bonjour, monsieur. Hey, mister. Out of the way! Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hello there, mister. Hello, welcome. Hey, mind you, sorry, Mister. My mistake. Please, no. You. Oh, you oh. bastard! Or hey, I think that fellow might have just picked your pocket. Wow. Let women vote. Jeez. It's no. time. To What's your problem? Vote. I didn't do nothing. Money or your life, you choose. All right, all right, Dash, you got me. Oh, here, it won't happen again. Okay. Damn fool. I'm sorry. This can't be! Mon Dieu! Enough to make you lose sleep. Everything you need and more in there. Now that is of the highest quality you can find. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? You have exceptional taste. Are you looking for something to go with what you just bought? Thanks, partner. Now, let me have a look. Now that goes with just about any outfit. Got what I need. Thanks. How are you today? Hello. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Une bonne soirée à vous, monsieur. Oh, excuse you. All right, girl.
think so. Looking for a trim? So what'll it be today? Thank you. Yeah, that looks good. Now that isn't half bad, huh? Ready to go. So, what do you need? Stylish and clean. Please, tell your friends about us. Thank you. Really? Okay, girl. Good evening. Evening, friend. Look out! Hey, why is this happening? Hey, watch it! Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. I swear, I ain't recognize no one around right here. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's hey, dirty little drink French here? secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's going to happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know I guess. Oh, and friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants.
They're not to be trusted. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, Mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. You give that back. shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tapes. Uh, Come on! Keep up! Hey! <laughs> Moron! Dang! You all right? Bye, mister! <laughs> Thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now, give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. 
Now. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Ah, good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know. Far from real open country. Buenos dias, señor. sir.
on me again, girl. What you doing this for? I'll sleep well. It might just change your life. We share blood, but we don't need to share air. I want you to ask yourself, well, sir. do I consider myself pure? And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature. Nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, and us being nature's paradise on Earth, we must push for purity. I want you, I need Good you, morning. to be pure. So you're the master race, huh? You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? No, you pathetic moron. Moron? These are facts. Well, there couldn't be any I bet else. you imagine a world where your grandchildren are subservient to monkeys. You're pathetic. Come on.
Let's go, girl. Hey, mister, that's one nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one of Catfish Jackson's. Not now, thanks. All right, suit yourself. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Come on, girl. Yep. Oh, help me! Help me! Please! 
busy now. You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that debt. You back so soon, Pop? Someone's here, boy. Pop. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Mm. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. Out of your My hands now, mister. I don't want to be tied. I think I know the sum. That should cover it. Ain't you the good son. Should be proud of yourself. Shit!
Oh, sir, just in time. I'm lost out here, and I ain't got no food and no water. What the hell? In, <laughs> plenty of gold here and home. plenty of lead here. Plenty of gold here and plenty of lead here. <laughs> Mister? Always good to see you. Mr. Morgan? Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Uh, you know, I'll just come back later. I just want to say something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Hey, Arthur. Miss O'Shea? Yep. Hello, Arthur. Just try to stay calm. I am calm. It's gonna work out. 